All right, guys, this is going to be a quickie today, but I wanted to show you this picture. Uh, this is a picture of some of the crayfish we've been pulling out of these big perch stomachs that we've been catching. Um, and uh, a lot of people don't realize that big perch really do like crayfish. Uh, a lot of people use shiners for them, at least in this area. Um, but uh, if you're really going for the big ones especially, um, they do like crayfish for sure. So if you have big perch in your area and you target them, uh, give it a try if you haven't. And this video today, I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I catch my crayfish. Uh, I'm just on a small little backwater stream here. And um, I do a little rock flipping and crayfish catching. And uh, I also come across a another gnarly little critter you can find in the streams this time of year and uh, so watch the video and you'll see that and uh, just uh, make sure that you check your local bait regulations uh, before you go out and do this a lot of times the uh, regulations for the invertebrates like crayfish and stuff are different than they are for actual bait fish so just make sure you know your regulations but uh, baits expensive so anytime you can catch it yourself is a bonus in my book so on our next fishing trip guys, I think we're going to be going for some perch and smallmouth. And so today we're doing a little crawdad hunting. And I'm just on a little backwater stream here. Water's nice and clear. And we got some nice flat rocks here. Out in front of us, I'm just going to work upstream and uh, flip some rocks and see if we can get them. Now uh, a lot of people like to use shiners for perch. Um, and smallmouth but uh, in this area along Lake Ontario shoreline and in the Finger Lakes uh, perch especially love crayfish especially small ones if you can get them so we're looking for the little you know inch and a half two inches are perfect um, that's what we're gonna look for today do a little rock flipping so I got the GoPro on of course I got some good polarized sunglasses to help with the glare and I got my trusty all-purpose net here and they got the advanced holding unit on shoreline there, also known as the seven gallon bucket. And we'll get flipping some rocks here. This is old school today. It's like you did when you were a kid. It's still pretty fun. Uh, this could definitely uh, be a beer drinking event as well if you chose to make it so. We got a perfect little one right here. We just flipped over this rock. So what you wanna do, get the net down in behind him and then spook him so he goes backwards right into the net just like that there you go that is the perfect size right there for our perch perch love these things too guys like they'd definitely rather eat one of these in a lot well a lot of the areas we fish up along lake ontario finger lakes and stuff they like these just as much if not more than the shiners so there's number one Right into the net. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's one. Right under my boot. Smart devil. This might be the same one or a different one. I don't know. Oh, Alright. There we go. We got him. There he is. Prime time. Ooh, he's a soft one too. Nice. You good. Caught this guy too. Mosquitoes are getting us. Look at that guy. It's, I've caught these before. Nasty little buggers actually. 
Um, that's a uh, aquatic horsefly larva, that's called. <laughs> Soft hair. So it's actually a horsefly larva. And uh, they live in the water until they hatch and become horseflies and terrorize people in swimming pools everywhere. <laughs> so definitely great bait as well there. A bonus catch. Those aquatic horsefly larvae, guys. It's not moving too much, but they can't extend way out when they want to. You just kind of shriveled up that one. But uh, they're almost transparent. Pretty weird looking little critters. A lot of times they'll go right after you and try and bite you too. This one's kind of, he's sleeping, I guess. But uh, it'd be awesome bait for any kind of panfish for sure. Yeah, I only flipped rocks for about 45 minutes. You can see I was able to get a nice little bucket full, enough to uh, take fishing. So uh, if you got a nice little backwater stream close by, give it a try, guys, and stay tuned. We'll take these out fishing.